Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Clash of Clans sometimes. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Old bloke called Daddy, making video games, uh, films, but anyway. That's the way it is, unfortunately. I call myself Daddy, and I have to live with it. So, I, I, I look, I've got to apologise. I haven't been making as many videos as I have been recently. It's not because I don't love you guys. It's really because I... There's a few reasons. One is work. I've been travelling a lot with work, as you guys know. I usually record during the week in the evenings, and then I can... You know, I, I can upload them for the next day when people are interested in watching them. And also on Sunday, I went to Pinewood Studios, which, as you guys know, is the amazing, awesome um, place where they produce uh, some just fantastic films in the past. And it, it felt really strange, you know, walking next to the James Bond stage. I'm going to pop a couple of uh, pictures up that I could. They allow you to take. Unfortunately, they eject you if you take too many pictures. <laughs> so it's like, but um, no, it's not because I don't love you guys. Um, it's really just because of the work and stuff like that. So here we go. We, we, I have been doing a guest. Uh, it's very kind when people, when you're a YouTuber, for some strange reason, people want you to go and join their clans and just, you know, spend some time with them. And for some reason, I mean, I, I've got to know clearly, clearly confused. Um, Sarah is the uh, the leader, and uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of great people there that are active on the forums and are active on Twitter, and and they said, look, you know, why don't you come over and, and do a clan war with us? And and I figured, well, why not? You know, it's I, I love meeting meeting other clashes, and um, and they were great. It was a great atmosphere in there. And I figured, let's focus in on a go white. Well, I, I wanted to raid on go white, but I noticed that Hamill B from UK nine 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 had an awesome attack at my base using go white. So why don't we do instead of just doing a hey here's the clan war? Why don't we do a um, here is how to go white? Well, here's some good examples of how to go white and how to explain it. So, this is a, I'm, I hate using the word tutorial because you guys know it better than I do, but I'm going to sort of say, look, here's a go wipe sort of focused on how to go wipe video. And I don't want to just do it for channel 9, I want to do it for channel uh, 8 as well. So this is me, I'm, I'm putting down the golem first. So, main thing with go wipe, put down your golem first. Golem first, and then I'm using the golem to shield so that the wall breaker could go in. You got to, when you plan it, you, you want to plan the closest path knowing the AI to the town hall. So I'm putting the jump spell in. Remember the jump spell, it starts on the left. When they're coming from the left, it starts on the left, but it extends out. So those troops should jump over into the into, into the town hall area there. So golems first. Always, always, always golems first. The most common mistake I see people making is, is they put wizards down and they put golems down. Then you put the wizards and you're trying to clear out all the outline buildings so that when you... Get, when you push to get into the inside the inside the walls, that the troops will actually go that direction. And uh, you know, I've I've had examples where it has not done that. And then what you need to do is you need to pop your wall breakers in to bro break open the walls. Use rage to suck the troops in, and then jump to get them where they want to go. Because jump is a little bit like a hoover. I mean, like a vacuum clean cleaner. Excuse me. Troops are not attracted towards jump, but they'll they'll go the jump way if it's the shortest route. I think that's the way to put it. Anyway, okay, so here we go. So I mean, this is this wasn't a bad raid actually. I'm starting to get used to it. So um, yeah, forty seven percent. The queen's always going in at the, at the back. Don't, never ever put the queen in first because what you're trying to do is you you try you know shield the queen with the other troops basically. And at the end, of course, it gets a bit messy because you know the the golems are. Um, you know, sort of gone left and right, but there we go. So that's that. Now this is Gan's attack. So Gan, this is Gan's second attack. So first attack, obviously you go for one that's similar to your number, and Gan went for number two um, for his first attack. This is his second attack. Where, so this is Clash on Gan, the, the YouTuber and streamer. Um, I put a link to his channel in the description. If you guys don't know him already, he's always on my video in my channel because he's the guy who organised the, uh, the Clash off, which we should do more again. <laughs> we should do another Clash off soon. Anyway, so uh, Gan's going in, so he's he's got a fairly sh easy path to the town hall, but the troops are getting split up. So the, the, there's a pecker down at the bottom, look at that pecker doing a little bit of a pecker dance at the bottom there. And there's some golems at the top there, and it's kind of dividing the defences. Um, the, we were matched quite well in our favour against UK999. I want you to look at the troops at the top here, because they're kind of, the, the pecker there, they're trying to get the larrys. And then they kind of, all of a sudden, he just rushes around to where the queen is. There we go. They're off to, they're off to where the queen are. There we go. So taking out the queen. Really strange AI there. 
Uh, take out the lava tower. Uh, sorry, the inferno tower. What am I talking about? Lava tower. Inf inferno tower. And he's on the uh, on the town hall, which is great. So uh, yeah, so the troops have been split up, but in a really nice way. And he's got um, the queen is very secure back there with uh, you know lots of other really tanky defences, um, you know, sort of tanky troops uh, soaking up the defences. There we go, she, so she's gone now, but he's got a ton of, well, he's got two peckers down at the bottom supported by a wizard. Oh, was supported by the wizard. Okay, so he's got two peckers down at the bottom. He's still got some wizards left. Yeah, pop the wizard in. Let's speed that up, take out the last, last of the buildings, and that looks like an amazing three-star. There we go. Go on, guys. It's funny when they're speeded up, isn't it? And those little golden lights. You can do it. So that's that's the main thing with go with go wipe is just get the the troop deployment correct and the spell deployment. Let's have a look at town hall nine attacking a town hall nine. So here we go. So golems in first. Okay, then we're going to pop some wizards in so that the just defenses are uh, sorry the golems are distracting the defenses. So the wizards. I mean wizards are really really powerful as you know. This is a bit laggy. I'm really sorry about that. But anyway, okay, so in go the wall breakers. We're going to punch through into that core. Use the raid. He uses the rage in a nice way to suck the troops in a little bit. Okay, so the, the peck is going in. I'm really sorry about the lag. This is really actually quite annoying. I, I just, I've, I think it's probably because of my Mac actually. Anyway, so the, the rage is pulling the troops in. At town of nine, of course, you get a jump spell, which is great. You just don't get the freeze. Freeze is important. With a go wipe when you're at town or ten because you can, if you can get the defenses and the troops, remember the the troops get frozen as well. Then you can just pop your lightning down. It helps target your lightning better. At town or nine, you don't get that benefit, so you you really need to you know to focus on uh, rage and jump. Anyway, so the queen's taking out the outlying buildings, and uh, yeah, Adios is clearing up. But you know it's lag is terrible. Let me, let's flip through to the next one. Okay, so just to prove that Go Wipe isn't just for uh, Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 10s, here's a Town Hall 8. So, S. Lawson, here 413, here is luring out the Clan Castle troops. I don't bother luring because I've got freeze on my Town Hall 10, but I can definitely see why people want to lure if they're in Town Hall 8, attacking a Town Hall 8, because, well, they, they can't freeze the troops and, and zap them. So, she's going to, uh, yeah, there we go, just tease those troops out and try and get to those witches if she can. So there we go. Okay, let's see. There's wizards. Oh, there we go. There's a wizard on the witch. That's brilliant. Okay, one wizard took out one witch. And another wizard's going to take out another witch. There we go. Those Larrys are giving her a bit of trouble. Uh, her a bit of trouble, but hey, what the heck. So, Golem's in. Line of... Uh, uh, sorry, line of wizards. <laughs> this is one of those days. If, if the screen isn't laggy, I'm lagging. <laughs> anyway, so there goes the wall breakers because they're being distracted by the uh, archers are being distracted by the golems. Some more wall breakers to get through those walls. It's useful to be able to know how many wall breakers it takes to get through a purple wall and a pink wall and a skull wall because that can really help you in terms of how many you, you, you know how many you use in that instance. Of course, at Tunnel Eight, you do not have the Arch Queen, so there's no you know queen behind. But that means that you just use more wizards. Uh, there we go. So take out that king. There's two. Obviously, I'm, I wouldn't personally use heal because these are very hate, high hit point troops, and that it's going to take a lot of heal to you know to actually have much impact. But you know, S, S Lawson, it's her raid, and she's doing a good job. So there you go the peckers, and uh, there's still lots of life left on those peckers. Remember, town hall eight. You don't. You know, the defenses aren't great. This is a, quite a maxed out town hall eight, though. I must say. Nothing can stand in the way of a pat mighty pecker though. Come on girls, you can do it. Get through those walls. So there you go. So the principles are the same, right? It doesn't really matter if you're at Tunnel 8, 9 or 10, or possibly even Tunnel 7. I don't know if you get, do you get the golems at Tunnel 7? Crime, but anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter what you get. The main thing is you're putting tanks in first, using spells to accelerate and get into the core. And wizards after that. Anyway, so of course we did win, which is fantastic. But I would love, it was very close though. I would love you guys to give the uh, fellow sidekicks some tips on how to go wipe if you have them, if it hasn't been covered. But thank you very much for watching. You guys are awesome. Take care and bye for now.